This is talking about real life issues story number two. As you see, I have a rainbow necklace on and I have this sign that says LGBTQ. And what it stands for is Lesbian, Gays, Bisexuals, and Transgender or Queer. And I want to come out to say that I support this community, but don't think what I'm going to say about myself has to do with any of this because I'm straight. I'm this a person that believes everybody should be loved and respected as long as they are respectful too. I just don't think enough people get respect and love, especially from this community. And I know some people that have to deal with it personally. So I want to show my love and support for all of you and say that you were born this way and you should be proud to be who you are. And nobody should judge you for it because it is a personal issue and really nobody else's business. And I'm not afraid to come out and say that. And I don't care what people think. Whether you're Christian, because sometimes Christian people judge others for being this way. But I'm the kind of Christian that says God loves everybody equally. And we should too. Because God created every one of us. And He. He works really hard to do that. He made people this way for a reason. So everybody has to understand that. And if you don't, just at least, you could have your beliefs, but at least be respectful and be kind. And the reason why I love gay people so much is because they need more love and they're the nicest, some of the nicest people in the world. I swear, some of the nicest people I've ever met and know some of my family that aren't straight. They just happen to be a lesbian or gay. And even if I didn't know that and then I found out and was surprised, I would still love them. I'm still going to love them. I'm going to love you. As long as you're a good person. And I'm sorry if you get bullied. Because I hear that if you're part of this community, meaning you're one of these things, you get bullied more and you commit suicide more. <sighs> you shouldn't have to deal with that. Because to me, everybody's equal. And that's how everybody else should feel too. So I would wish I could like reach out and hug you personally. But know that this is coming from my heart. And I don't have to make this video if I don't want to, but I thought I should because I'm thinking about making videos about real life issues. And this definitely is one of them. So no matter if you're a girl or a guy, gay, straight, bisexual, or trans, you are human. And there's people that love you. And if you feel like there aren't, just know that there are people that can show you that they do. And if you don't believe them, I'm sorry. You don't have you shouldn't have to deal with that. And I'm sorry about the loser of the president that we have, like, saying bad stuff about this community. He's, he shouldn't be, a, he shouldn't judge people like that, like, no. No. He has a son, he has a young son that's older, younger than my daughter. My, my daughter knows about some of this stuff. 
because sometimes it's like in TV shows and movies. That, that's a different story, unless it's a real life show. And some of the people I love the most, seriously, are, are gay and lesbians. So I love you. And don't think that I don't because I do. Well, God bless everybody. And I did, again, I hope I'm making a good point in this video. Okay, good night. And I'm going to think about what to talk about next. Like I have different ideas. Peace, love, and harmony. Let us all unite and be one. And for everybody all across the world, not just in America, because there are these folks, there are these folks everywhere. And to me, love is love. Like that guy said from Hamlet, love is love is love. And that's the truth. Okay. You get my point. You'll see me in my next video. Bye. And take care.